What? Who are you? What? How? How did you get in here? What are you doing in this town? Get out! Get out while you can! If you know what's good for you, you'll get out as soon as you can. They're crazy. Crazy, I tell you. Get out of town while you still can. Welcome to Andale. I'm Willie Wilson, though folks just call me Bill. Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, that old kidder? Whatever he's saying, he's just pulling your leg. He's always joking, that one. Why, well, it's a place to settle down and raise a family. Of course, we don't just let anyone in here. The Homeowners Association is very clear on that. Besides, there's no room, as amazing as Andale is. Is it any wonder that all the houses would be full of happy families? Poor guy. His wife died and he went, well, crazy, I guess. He won't talk to any of us anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive, poor guy. He's all skin and bones. I feed my family and I love my wife and daughter. What else more is there to life, stranger? Family first, and any man who says anything different is saying something wrong. And you should hit that man with a stick. Come back and see you soon. You're new here, aren't you? Wow. I've never got a chance to talk to the new people. Dad always takes care of them before I get a chance. The same things that all parents do. My mom cooks and cleans the house, and my dad goes to work with Mr. Wilson. They work in the basement, or sometimes in Mr. Wilson's shed. Dad says that when I'm older, I'll come to work with him, and we're in the family business. It's swell, except I wish there were more kids, and my dad says I'm gonna have to marry smelly old Ginny Wilson someday. He keeps saying stuff to my mom about keeping the family going and how when him and Mr. Wilson were brothers, they didn't want to get married. It's weird. That means Mr. Wilson is my uncle and Jenny is... something. I don't know. It seems weird to marry her. It's okay, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids around here, and no one who comes to visit stays around long. Dad says it could be worse, but there are a lot of starving kids in other places. But still, I wish I had more kids to play with. So long. Mr. Harris does not smell funny, but okay, old people do sort of smell funny. Oh, well, no one ever asks me my opinion about anything, but I love it here. Are you joking? It's fantastic here. The best town in the USA. Has been for, why it's been so many years running that I've lost count. We'll see you real soon.
evening. Well, hello. Welcome to Andale, winner of the best town in the USA contest. Well now, I'm sure that your home is just so much better than our little Andale. Well, I never. The nerve of some people. At least some of us know how to take the high road. Did you want something, Mr. Fancy Underground Vault? Or did you just come here to turn your nose up at us? Has he been spreading his stories again? Poor guy. I'll just have to have Jack give him a talking to. It's the best little town there is. We don't have a care in the world here. I mean, honestly, what more do you need to know? Really? Don't be such a stranger. Hey. Hello there, stranger. Good to meet you. Name's Jack Smith. I hear you've already met my wife. Sweet lady, isn't she? But anyway, welcome to Andale, the best little town in Virginia. Not here. Not in Andale. No, sir. The great commonwealth of Virginia is alive and well. In fact, we just voted ourselves a new governor. The adults walked right on down to the polling location and dropped ballots into the box. How do you think it works? Yes, sir, it's every American's civic duty to cast his vote for his favorite Republican candidate. Am I right? No, sir, not crazy. Just a loyal American. Now, now, my vote is my business and no one else's. But I'll tell you one thing, we didn't vote for any beatnik liberal commies, that's for sure. Well, that's a shame, but feel free to stop by and see us anytime. Oh, old man Harris? Don't mind him. He's gone, you know, a little soft in his later years. Ever since Gladys died, he just hasn't been the same. Did he now? I've talked to him about spreading rumors. I guess I'll just have to have another little chat with him. Every time he does this, he scares our new friends off, and we love people. It's a shame when they slip out of our grubby little paws. <laughs> Andale, greatest place there is. We win town of the year every year. We've got no end of food and no troubles at all. Yep, there's no better place to raise a family. Yeah, well, he's hit it rough. Ever since his wife died, he just hasn't been enthusiastic about the Andale lifestyle anymore. He stays locked up in his house all day and the girls bring him his meals. He barely eats enough to stay alive. Poor guy, he's all skin and bones. I work to feed my family just like every red-blooded American man should. Why, a man that can't keep his family fed isn't any kind of man at all. No, sir. I'll tell Linda and Junior that you said hello.
Hey there, stranger. I got something I want to talk to you about. I couldn't help but notice that you were poking around in Bill's shed. So, did you find what you were looking for in there? You're right, it sure would have. You know, you're a breath of fresh air. Every time someone discovers our little secret, we have to hear about it. It's always, oh, how can you do this? Or, you're such terrible people. Or, please not me, I have a kid in Rivet City. Well, I have kids too. Family first, that's the way it works in Andale from the day that the first four families decided to stay here. You're not bad, stranger. Stop on by anytime and ask Linda for one of her special meat pies. I'll tell Linda and Junior that you said hello. like them for so many years it's I can't even talk about it the only thing I can do is try to raise these kids and make Andale into a decent place sure did can't say that I'm proud of it though it was all just normal it's what we all did I did never think much about it I married Gladys just like every boy in Andale married the girl closest to his age we had Linda, and she grew up to marry Jack. It wasn't until Gladys died that I thought about what went on around here. So many people over the years, hundreds, thousands maybe. But what could I do? I'm just an old man. But you ended it. Bless you. We'll do our best is what we'll do. Me and the kids here in Andale. What's left of it anyway. It'll be hard going, but we'll do the best we can. I just hope that one day these kids will grow up to do some good for this place after all the evil that's been done here. They'll stay here with me and I'll raise them myself. It's a shame that they have to grow up without their parents. But to tell you the truth, it's a lot better than growing up with their parents, everything considered. Better an orphan than a cannibal, I guess. Bye. I've heard of you. You're one of the good guys. So long. Simply delicious. You're my hero, mister. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Dad says that I shouldn't want to leave Ando, but I do.
get fucked.